Hey guys, it's Tisa here, and I'm going to pop on live really quick. Well, not live, but not recorded. Oh my lord, you know what I mean. Not voiced over. Um, and show you a couple of things that Michelle from my little scrapbook store online sent me to play with. And uh, what she sent me is a couple of these sheets of paper from the Wild Love, well, is that the name of it? It's a photo play collection. Uh, yeah, Wild Love it's called. And there's this like coloring sheet with the cut apart cards on the back. And then we have a couple sheets with the cut aparts on this side and this awesome pattern paper. And then she sent me the stamp set. And I am going to make a couple of uh, mini albums and a layout using uh, these papers and then possibly a few scraps from my stash. So I will um, come back on when I am ready to do the tutorial of everything and I'll see you in a few minutes. Thanks guys. Okay guys, so I'm back and off camera I used the stamps that uh, were with this collection and I made a background um, paper for myself. So I'm trying to figure out what to back this with. I originally thought I wanted to use that really cool triangle teal color paper as my background, but when I put that stamped image on there, it was super busy and I really struggled. My eye really struggled just trying to find a place to look. So I decided against that. So then I decided I would ground this stamped piece and then I would try to back it with this triangle paper. And I love that triangle paper. With It's like a teal and then it's got all the other colors in it. And again once i lay it on there it just seems really busy with all of the stamping and then all of the the print on that triangle paper so i went through my stash and i pulled out some other papers that might coordinate with the papers that michelle had sent and i found this cloud background paper in my stash it was it's an old paper from the stitched collection and I thought the color would go really well and I decided to use that as my background paper. Now you are going to see I'm still going to try to attempt to put that triangle paper as another layer but in the end it, it just didn't work. So I did end up using it to back my photos and I really love how it turns out. And I will be using that paper in another project coming up here soon. I'm hopefully gonna get that video up next week. So here I've got the base of my layout and I've decided I'm gonna use one of the cut apart cards as my title. And the cut apart card I decide on says, uh, love you like crazy. Oh, here I am trying it again. And yeah, I still, even watching it in this, you know, watching it play over, I still think that having that stamping right on top of that busy paper is just too much. So I take it off again. Um, and you guys, I don't give up. <laughs> Watch towards the end. I still attempt to use that paper as part of the background and um, I wish it would have worked uh, it just didn't so I think originally I was going to just use that paper as my strip but honestly um, I really wanted to play with the stamps and I wanted to show you all how if you have limited supplies for a collection um, you can use your stamp sets to create pattern paper, to create embellishments. Now I thought about um, stamping some of these animals out and using them as embellishments, but in the end I really, it didn't go with my photos so much, so I decided just to leave them uh, more as a look of pattern paper. So I'm seeing about maybe backing that card with a frame it's obviously too small i end up not doing that but i will use that frame a little bit later on in the video 
I'm going to back my photos. Um, I've already backed them with a small white border. And now I'm gonna use this pinkish red color, which is in the collection, and back my photos with that layer. And then I'll be doing a final layer of that um, pattern paper with all of the triangles. And I do leave a pretty bold layer of that paper because I did want to represent it on this page. I did leave a pretty bold um, layer on one of the photos, on kind of my main photo that I'm going to be popping up. Now, I am just far too lazy to get out my trimmer because I have one of the Fiskars trimmers with the wire thing and it never cuts straight. So rather than being frustrated after I've taken out the trimmer and tried to cut it, I have been just cutting these layers with my scissors. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with it at this point. Um, I'm not much of a perfectionist when it comes to the little details like that. Um, so I just go with it. Until I get a trimmer that cuts straight and accurate, and then I'll worry about those little details. So here I am trimming this up and um, as you can see I left a little bit larger of a layer there on that larger photo. So I'm placing those down and I'm going to put that um, 3x4 card right underneath. I do end up backing that with a little bit of a black and white pattern paper just to have it stand out a little bit more on top of that stamping. And I, I do like how that turned out. And I did not pop up the title. I let that be flat on the page. The only thing that is popped up on this page is the square photo, which is my main photo. And then I did pop up uh, one of the embellishments, which you'll see in a little bit. So I'm trying to get those to look just right. Um, and here I go. This is the kind of stuff I fuss with rather than the cutting stuff. So I hope you all will check out um, Michelle's shop. It's my little scrapbook store and she does live sales. In fact, I think there's one going on now. I got I have to get to my computer shortly here so I can uh, join in. But she does live um, sales on Facebook. She does have uh, a Facebook page and I will link her shop and the pa Facebook page down below so that you can check out her store. Um, she has great, uh, they do what are called scrappy bags where she kind of puts, a, puts together a kit with, um, it, it's all with, from the same manufacturer in the same collection, but they put together little kits which makes it easy for shopping. Uh, you can pre-order things, you can let her know if there's things that you're looking for. Um, a lot of times she'll order them. Just really sweet person and a really great small shop. So as you saw in the beginning, there weren't any embellishments with this collection. So I relied on some things from my stash and because the color palette in these is a little bit different in this paper, I kind of relied on some black and white embellishments and then basically using um, some of the paper to create my own embellishments. And I love how it turned out. When I am in a jam here and I don't have embellishments to go with a collection, my go-to embellishments are hearts because I always have hearts in tons of colors. I can always punch out hearts um, out of pattern paper. I go with cameras and I have a Fiskars punch that you'll see me use here shortly um, that I can make little bows. So that's kind of what I did with this layout and the embellishing. I also, oh, I forgot to mention that Michelle also sent me some Nuvo drops. So I pulled out the Nuvo drops and I also did lots of little um, dots for some extra texture and another layer of dimension. And you'll see that towards the end. So I'm kind of designing this just with three clusters. There's going to be one very small cluster up by the XOXO. In fact, all you're going to see there is the heart and the XOXO and then some Nuvo drops later on. Then there is going to be an embellishment down by the title. 
um, where I'm using another one of the hearts. And these hearts are um, epoxy hearts. They are incredible and they are from Scrap and Happy Studio, another small um, shop that I absolutely love on Etsy. She makes some ama amazing epoxy embellishments. And let's see, here I am adding um, the Nouveau Drops and the color on this one is, oh goodness. These are Crystal Drops in Calming Aqua. It is such a pretty color, I love it. And I did kind of make a wonky dot up at the top above the XOXO and it killed me to just forget about it but I thought if I go back in and try to fix it I'm probably going to make a bigger mess so I just left it alone. So here I am uh, getting the the dots in um, three different spots on the layout as well. Here I'm bringing back the pattern paper again and I'm thinking what if I do a strip along the right side. Now honestly looking at it from this aspect that didn't look too busy. I probably could have done that, but at the moment, it just, it still didn't look right to me. But looking back at it now, I totally could have um, chopped off a little bit of the cloud paper on the right and added that behind. I'm also trying to see if I can add a strip underneath, um, you know, by this, make another layer here closer to the stamping and that, that I did not end up liking. So... As you see in the end, I, I did not end up um, adding that. But let's see here. I'm scrapping some photos of a good friend of mine and her daughter. And um, I'm making a book for them because uh, this was her foster daughter that she has been fostering since um, she was born. And she just recently, last week, has finalized the adoption for that. And I'm super excited. So I'm working on a surprise album for her to give at her adoption party. So that's what I'm working on here. And I'm hoping she doesn't see this video. I guess I kind of let the cat out of the bag a little bit um, with that one. But that's okay. So as you saw just there, um, I, had some, I had my punch out to make these little bows. I made probably four or five bows because I was trying to figure out which papers to use, which colors to put where, if I wanted a bow in each cluster, you know, and all of that. And I did try putting a bow in each cluster, but in the end, it just really looked too repetitive and too busy. So the only place I put a bow is down at the bottom cluster with the title. And I'll keep the other bows that I made. I have a little container that I um, will just make bows out of scratch paper or scratch paper um, of my, what are they called? Scraps, yes. And I have a little bowl on my desk that I keep all the bows in. Now, I then looked through some of my camera embellishments and I found the perfect pinkish red color to go uh, of a camera to put on this layout. And as you can see now, I'm using the Nouveau Drops again and where you'll often see like chipboard or um, wood veneer cameras that have the opening in the middle and the little flash opening. I'm using the Nouveau Drops to fill in those spaces and I love how it turned out. I'm using the light aqua color in the big center and then I'm using white in the little the little flash area or whatever. And I love how that turned out. So always keep that in mind as an option when you're using some of these wood veneer, chipboard, those types of um, embellishments that have, especially cameras, because they always have that open center. And I usually don't like it to be open because you can see what's behind it. I usually will put an enamel dot in there or something, but it doesn't always fit. So the Nouveau drops are perfect for that. And I, I loved, um, I love how that turned out. I'm sorry about my dog in the background barking. Oh my goodness. So here I decided I wanted to add a few black 
Nouveau drops just to scatter around everything else. And then that's honestly going to finish up my layout. I'm going to have some screenshots at the end or close-ups at the end if you want to stick around and watch those. I hope you will check out the store, my little scrapbook store online, and uh, I hope you will give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great night, guys. I hope you have, uh, I hope you come back again. Bye.